What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? And this week, we are back with the final pepper that I received from Drew from Hurtberry. This week, we are doing the Bohemian Beast. That's it right there. It's kind of an interesting looking pepper. Um, it's kind of like, uh, it's got the scorpion shape a little bit with, the, with whatever you call this, I don't know. But, you know, like the mushroom cap type of style to it with a little old growth coming at the bottom there. But it's not as pronounced as a scorpion or anything like that. Uh, I did a little research on these today. Apparently some of these can be peach um, and all sorts of different colors. I guess this is still a very new uh, breed of pepper. So I think every generation changes on these. So um, this could be like F4. I don't know. Uh, I was reading about F3s being peach, so I'm assuming that this is an F4 because it is not peach. Doesn't really matter. It's a new pepper to try. And uh, this one was given to me again uh, by Drew from uh, Hurtberry Farms, and it was grown by Justin Smith. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. I think it's going to be interesting. So far the other two peppers have been interesting. And uh, I'm not sure what to expect heat-wise again. I guess that's what we're going to find out in a minute here. So before we get started with this, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's subscribed, everybody who's watching, everybody who's giving me likes and comments and everything. That's that's amazing. I know some of you are watching and you're not, and that's cool too if that's your thing. But uh, I'd appreciate if everybody could hit that subscribe button there. I mean, it only takes a millisecond to do it, and you'll never miss anything that goes on here, whether it's pep reading drone videos which I haven't posted or product reviews or you know sauce or pepper reviews like we're gonna start doing reviews too I'm not even venture into the world of cigars I don't know the whole point of what the hell am I doing is what am I doing so it could be anything it could be this it could be me having somebody kick my ass it could be the neighbors honking their uh, alarm horn 5,000 times every time they get out of the car I don't know that's that's the whole point so click that subscribe let's keep this thing going I promise I'm going to bring the content, I'll try to be funny, and you know, we'll try to keep you guys entertained. This pepper is dedicated to a couple of fights tonight. I'll start it off with Cowboy versus Gaethje. Uh, Donald Cowboy Cerrone is fighting Justin Gaethje in the UFC. Um, should be a good fight. Both guys like to stand up and bang. Uh, both guys have a lot of heart, and both guys have had a lot of great fights historically. I'm a big Cowboy fan, I like Gaethje as well, so I think this fight's going to be great. Uh, it's not a championship fight, but it's a fight that the champ recognizes as a quality fight. And if you're a fight fan, you should check that one out because I think it's going to be good. A little concern for Cowboy because he got beat up pretty bad in his last fight and there wasn't much of a break. I thought he would take the rest of the year off. That's the only thing I'm a little concerned about. I like to see a guy rest up a little more after taking that kind of a beating. But, you know, Cowboy delivers, you know, more often than not. And, you know, this is going to be a great fight. So make sure you check that one out. But the true spirit of being a champ would be given my props to another champ. Uh, in this case, nobody's a champ tonight, but uh, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Tyson Fury. He's fighting Wallen. Uh, I don't know much about Wallen, to be honest with you. Uh, I believe he's probably just more of an opponent than anything to make Fury look good. Um, Fury is a great fighter, and he had a great fight against Deontay Wilder last year, and that's the fight we all want to see. So I think this is the last tune-up fight before that happens. I've heard rumors that one, uh, Wilder and Fury will fight in January or February. So that'd be a great one. That one was a draw. I thought Fury won. Even though he got knocked down twice in that fight, he was winning almost every round. And that was a great fight. And as a guy that beat Klitschko, you know, he's still undefeated. Um, so really, he's the lineal champ still, still as well. So, you know, we're going to get to see him get another crack at those belts. And hopefully he figures out Fury and he can win them. Or, sorry, <laughs> Hopefully he figures out Wilder and he can take his belt from him. Uh, I thought he should have last fight. Didn't work out that way, but it was a great fight. And we're all frothing at the models waiting for that one uh, to, to finally have a rematch. And, uh, you know, if everything goes as planned, if Fury wins this fight, and if Wilder wins his fight, that's going down next year early. So, one champ to a former champ. Good luck, Tyson Fury. I know you're going to do it. And uh, if you guys don't know much about Tyson Fury, you should really look into him. He... Uh, he battled a lot of demons after winning his title a few years ago, and he disappeared from the game. He put on like 150 pounds. The man threw, went, went through a lot, and he came back and uh, should have won that fight last year. He looked great. 
So anyways, this pepper's for that guy. So Fury, and you know what? Cowboy. And Gaethje. He's a great guy too. So it's going to be a great fight night if you're a fight fan. So let's get down to this. This bad boy here is the Bohemian Beast. And as you can see, she's interesting looking. Let's cut her open. <laughs> yeah, uh, the first thing I noticed on this one is the capsaicin smell. It's um, it's a stinky one. I'm gonna scrape some seeds out here. Probably fast forward this. Okay. Yeah, so she definitely has a peppery smell. Um, she smells like a super hot, but not quite as hot. Still. Not as overwhelming as that ghost pepper I grew. When I cut that thing open, the whole room stunk. Um, but if I'm looking at this, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, there's some yellowing on the on the mem on the uh, placenta. There's a lot of placenta for a small pepper, and you can see some spots are quite yellow, especially on this side here. So I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little bit of darkness to those peppers. They're starting to get a little dark, but not moldy or anything yet. So I'll eat them on the champ. But this thing smells kind of funky. So there it is. I don't know if you can see the oils. Um, but yeah. This is the Bohemian Beast. Grown by Justin Smith given to me by Drew from Hurtberry. Thank you, Drew. Champ appreciates it. I'm sure you guys are able to appreciate this. I wonder why the hell I do this. Let's get her done. Tyson Fury, get her done. That seemed a little floral. It's not fruity. Hmm. A little floral. The, inst the first bite didn't have that instant heat like the last three peppers I ate. But now, towards the end of the chewing, yeah, the heat is starting to ramp up. Uh, much like yesterday or last week. I think that'll be yesterday. Um, I'm, I'm feeling the burn starting on the front of my tongue. It's not intense yet. It wasn't too floral actually, but it, it wasn't my favorite tasting pepper. It doesn't taste like a ghost. It doesn't taste like a habanero. So far, the heat level's not bad. I'm starting to sweat though, like usual. Look at that. It doesn't take much. So far it's tongue burn, um, a little bit of lip burn, still got pieces in my mouth, you know, that one's not too bad so far, hmm, is this a sign for Fury having an easy fight? I tell you, I think that was the plan, they wanted to get a little hype, they wanted that uh, Wilder rematch to marinate. Get people frothing at the mouth for it. I'm sweat. This is uh I mean everything makes me sweat, like I say every video, but uh right now it's lip burn, it's tongue burn, a little bit of throat. It's not intense, not like crazy intense. It's hot, but 
it's like one and a half, two. And uh, it's, I think it's still going. We'll give it a little more time. I'm sweating though. Look at that. Doesn't help that it's summer. Doesn't help that I sweat easily. Yeah, so this is getting interesting. I like doing the pod reviews. So if you guys want to send me pods, I'll do pod reviews. We still got uh, some more of my peppers I got to do. I got uh, Trinidad Viper X growing, which is a cross between the Trinidad Viper and uh, Purple Boot. So that should be interesting. Purple Ghost. I'm not sure if they're going to be purple or yellow or red. I've seen different pictures. They're still um, not stable completely, so they change every time you grow them. And of course, I have Carolina Reapers that I'm growing, and I'm looking forward to trying those too. I'm almost scared to try those now. After trying my ghost pepper, which was insane, it was more insane than the three peppers from Drew. Sorry, Drew, but it's the truth. I don't know how, but that ghost is one of the hottest things I've ever eaten. But uh, I am kind of afraid to see what my Carolina Reapers are going to do to me. But... Soon enough, we're going to find out because they're uh, getting closer to ripening. And by the time this video actually gets posted, it could be ripe. I could be filming a video that weekend. Who knows? But that's what we're going to find out. So I guess we'll see. So make sure you subscribe so you can find out how my reapers turn out and you can watch me eat them. We've also got challenges coming. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm choking on my uh, saliva. It's still about a two in my mouth, maybe two and a half. It's ramped up a bit. But uh, we still have some other videos coming. I got uh, a couple more product reviews that I'm going to be doing. I've got a couple challenges lined up. So let's get to 300 plus subscribers so we can do a crazy challenge. I think we're time. it's time to do another milestone challenge. So make sure you click that button. Make sure you hit the likes all the time. And comment. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what you think. All right. Well, I think that's it for this week. I think I've peaked. This one definitely isn't out of control. It's, it's milder than I expected it to be. It's milder than it smelled like it was going to be. But that was fun. Thanks, Drew. Champ crushed another one. So make sure you subscribe. Watch last week's video. And watch this video up here. And keep this channel alive and keep watching everything. Because I've done a lot you've probably missed. So until we come back again, I think with another product review next. Or maybe a pepper eating or something else. We'll see. That's why we say, what the hell am I doing? Keep tuning in. Thanks a lot.